Hi, I got a question from someone on the channel and they asked how can I update a pre-existing board, say version 1 of a PCB, but I want to just add some components to it and make it my own without changing anything else on the PCB. How do I do that? Well, this is called an engineering change order. Let's say your manager, let's say for work or something, gives you a PCB. We're going to use this demo example from Cadence. They did this design, not myself. And originally it's just this circuit. But let's say your manager came in and said, hey, we want to put twice as many circuits on the same board. Can you do that? And you're like, yeah, sure. So all you have to do is put in your additional parts. Let's say we want a duplicate of this. You can copy this, control V to paste it. Now you have twice as many parts on your schematic, just like your manager asked. What you can do then is right click and save the design and then perform a engineering change order. Go to tools, create netlist. Now how you perform an engineering change order is through the create netlist method. Yes, this is the way you use to create a new board entirely where you don't have an input board. You know, this is usually blank and then you have the original name of the PCB, which is this. What you want to do different is to not use the original name of the PCB. You want the name of the new PCB you will be making for the output board file. You call this OSC underscore B and you want to use the original board here as your input board file it's in some long uh it's in some long folder name but here it is i put it on my clipboard and here it is this is the original board osc underscore b is the new board you want to create i'm using orcad capture cis light version 17.2 right now so what you do is close the board this is the original board i'm closing i put it in my input board file path or the field and then the output board file I put my own that the boss wants and then open board and or cap PCB editor now click OK what happens is it takes the in the original board modifies it then outputs a new PCB right I'll enter light mode now it looks like the same board but it's not this is the board with the new net list and you can see that by trying to place the new parts so go to place components manually select all your parts and you can start placing your extra parts that you've been asked to make in your new pcb then you can go ahead add some silkscreen text, do whatever you want to this new board. But this is now the new revision. Go ahead and save it. Notice how it has the new name. The original board is still intact. And that is how you update a PCB, typically from some old design or a different engineer who's not at your work anymore. This is called an engineering change order. This is how it's done in ORCID Capture CIS 17.2. It is similar in 16.6. .6 it's different in 17.4 so i hope this video has helped anyone who has this issue this is a very common question that i get this is called an engineering change order